friends. It's Tracy and Maze and Boris. And you heard Randall from Nova Scotia Living, or it's the next day. It's the second day of school. It's Friday. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, Boris and I were up early. Well, not as early as yesterday. So we just had enough time to go for a walk. Pack Maze's lunch. I put leftover curry and rice in his thing. Curry in one hot thermos and rice in another. And put a paper plate in there so he can just dump it out on his plate in the middle of his classroom. <laughs> That's what he wanted, so... <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I brewed a pot of coffee. I drank it while Maze was getting ready. So it wasn't like a leisurely coffee. And, um, yeah. It's chilly out this morning. Maze has his cool backpack. New Nike pants from Francoise and a Nike hoodie. It looks like an outfit, Maze, because they're both Nike. <sighs> it's new. Oh, yes. Well, they broke. Hey, Boris, that's enough. Devin's dog, Tank, just came out, but Boris scared him away. He didn't come over to our yard, but here comes the bus. Come up here. All right, have a good day at school. I love you. Pumpkin. Enjoy your curry. <laughs> waving <laughs> he's smiling I'm blowing kisses all right we need to go wake up the other three sleepy heads will you help me will you help wake them up oh yeah oh, all right I woke up the big kids um I'm just starting to, I opened the blinds and stuff, but my husband got home after I went to bed last night, so we went to Costco. Um, he got Parmesan cheese. Two things of basmati rice, because I used up pretty much all of it yesterday. Two things of flour, because we are out. And a thing of large, clear garbage garbage bags. I don't, I'm going to look in the fridge, there might be something else. What do you think, Boris, huh? Uh, what I could find is um, some chicken breast meat and a big thing of pepperoni. So that'll be, that'll come in handy. I put some of that stuff away. I'm going to fill up my flour buckets. We actually bought one, well I didn't. I have bought one little one the other day. Because the kids have been baking up a storm. So I have two of these ice cream buckets. I'm just gonna, I should put an apron on, but no matter how hard I try, take the sweater off. No matter how hard I try, I look away, I walk away with flour dusted all over me, but that's all right. Oh, the thing that I have on now is inside out. <laughs> all right. It's 10 to 8. I'll go up and do a second sweep of the house of the kids. Get your arses up out of bed. So I'll get rid of this. Well, not get rid of it. I'll dump it in here. I might only be able to open one of those bags. Just because... Um, I don't know if I can fit. Oh, that's the bottom. No, it's not the bottom. It just looks like it. Okay. But it does look like it. They both look like it. Okay. My husband called yesterday when he was in Costco. And it's the same price. I could get one big bag of flour or two small ones, but it's the same amount of flour, all for the same price. I said, well, whatever you think. He's like, well, I think what would be easier is two smaller bags. I said, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't really care as long as it's as much flour. I mean, smaller bags are easier to handle, but I would take a barrel of flour if it was a good price, 
and just work around it. But that's me. All right. I have two buckets like this, so between the two buckets, I'm using up all this flour. So it's okay. So I just have that bucket on this chair. Yeah, even Mally made, oh, I got flour on the friggin' floor. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I'm always a, I always end up doing something like that. And on the chair. I'll show you after. Ridiculous. Add more of these buckets. I'd fill them up, but I don't. So I might not open that second bag. That pretty darn well fills this almost. There's one. It's not quite full, but it's almost full. For at least three quarters of it. So there. Now I've got a mess to clean up. Ah, oh, perfect. See? You can see where the bucket was. Gosh dang it. All right, Misha's down here. Um, I just shut the internet off because, oh, here they come. I think they're up there. Dilly dallying, and it's 8.25, and we're going out in 10 minutes, and they still got to do all their stuff, so. I heard one in the bedroom door shut. I love you guys. Have a good day at school. Don't, not oh, give one of you guys give uh, Mally an ibuprofen. Misha, an ibuprofen. <sighs> uh? Uh, we fed our furry and feathered friends. The big squirrels are chasing each other all around. It's funny. I think they're quite excited. There were some leftover stale plain chips, unsalted, that I threw out there too, and an old hamburger bun. And eh. well, perhaps I should have a shower. All right, guys, it's 9:24. I just had a shower. These are the brownie things Mally made. Um, they've already gotten into this morning and last night. Um, but Boris was pretty much as close to getting into the tub with me as possible. Like he's laying directly leaning up against the bathtub outside the tub and yeah, anyways Oh, I'm just gonna sit down a minute. Um, I'll probably have a load of laundry to do He hasn't licked me, but he wants to lick me because I have cream all over He must smell it in the air Silly boy Alright guys, my washer's spinning out. I just opened this. My husband actually got a box of uh, those egg rolls that look like spring rolls in the purple box at Costco yesterday too. He told me this morning. He put them in the deep freezer. I am cleaning out one of the drawers in the bottom of my fridge. There was a rotten cucumber in there, so it's gross. I got rid of it, rinsed it, sprayed it. I'll wipe it out in a minute, but lo and behold, look who comes because I just opened this package. Um, I'm just gonna get a big Ziploc bag to put this in so it's they can come get a I'm gonna eat a couple of them right now but you know they would need a snack um, that's how we eat pepperoni all right uh, I don't have any big Ziploc bags I have like giant ones which I didn't want to use but I wanted the medium ones I just have a little sandwich bag so I'm gonna put it in here and then there's two pieces there I'm gonna eat right now because I'm hungry and I can just put this in the fridge I will get it shut I'm sure pepperoni is probably not good for dogs. It's probably not good for us either, but I will give them a little nub. Just a little, little sliver. 
because he's going to be all over me with this. Okay, I think my screen is fuzzy. Um, it's 12.22. The day is going faster than yesterday for sure. I'm just uh, rotating that laundry. I washed out that fridge drawer, dried it, put it away. And um, I suppose I could do up that spaghetti or whatever pasta I have. I don't know. Not sure. I'll figure that out. All right. I'm not making it now. I'll wait till Mays gets home and then I can, it takes 20 minutes to make spaghetti. And I don't even have to cook the hamburger. It's already cooked. I'll just dump it in here, throw some sauce in on top of it, warm it up together, boil the noodles. This is a giant pack. We've already used some out of it. And I know spaghetti's like, I don't know. We didn't have it this week. Last week, I'm sure we had it. But it's easy, something they'll all eat. It uses up that hamburger. And yeah, it's the second day of school. So I'm just taking it easy on myself. Also, I was working on this. I got to clear up that windowsill. I had, I still have this table out here by the window. This will not be staying here forever, but it's gonna be staying here for now. So I got two nice big spider plants with lots of babies. I brought this one out, it was still sitting on that thing. Um, if I don't put this here, it falls. And I don't know if that's good. Um, I don't want it leaning over so much. This is a poinsettia I've had for probably four years. It's almost been dead a few times, well, quite a few times, and I bring it back to life. <sighs> Dad gave it to me after Christmas one year. And I would say this spring, there was like maybe three leaves on it. I'm not even joking. Um, but look at, look at it now. It looks like, you know, Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, but I've been keeping it alive. So there's that. Uh, there's a few babies there. There's still the ones in on the bathroom windowsill and up on the kids windowsill. So still got all my plants. Oh, and that big one over there has two different types of plants in the pot. Uh, but... They can get the last bit of the summer sun. I know it's officially not fall yet. I think it's the 21st. I don't know. Something like that. And, yeah. I just I just moved that, so. I might work on cleaning off that windowsill for now. They've been sitting there for a few years. And, yeah. Misha is asking to decorate for Halloween. I said, well, maybe next weekend I can use next week to get the house prepared. But if I can, if she can find the tub that has the Halloween village that we usually put on top of the piano, that's one of Boris's toys, the big fancy expensive one that was like $25. Lasted a while, but he finally got into the neck. I want to see if one of the kids can try to sew it up, excessively sew it up to see, because I got it before he tore all the stuffing out of it. Because it's a good one, but we'll see. Anyways, if she can find that, I'll let her do that this weekend. We'll see. And she said she knows where the Halloween books are, which all of the Halloween books that I have, they're like little kid books. But I don't ever want to get rid of them because I love them. Same with all the little kid Christmas books. So, my kids don't read them this Halloween season. Maybe I'll just read them to Boris. Just one a day. Read one to Boris. Because he likes stories. He likes to listen to all the juicy stories that I listen to. And the scary stories I listen to. And the thriller stories I listen to. And, you know, fantasy ones. He likes it all. He really does. So, I think he would like the fall little kid books. I will just sit here and read one with my morning coffee. Or whatever. And he'll lay there like he is now. Like this, but I guarantee he's listening to every single word that we're talking about. He really is. He's good at pretending he's asleep all the time or he's not listening, but I know he's listening. Anyway, so I might let her do a couple things like that. Um, I don't put up nearly as much as I used to when the kids were all really little. I used to be excessive about it, but I do like Halloween and I like decorating for holidays and, um, I like to have it all decorated before the first week of October anyways. Uh, because I like to have it decorated for Thanksgiving. And, yeah. 
we'll see we'll see um i really there's a lot of stuff to do around here but i don't feel like doing any of it i did do laundry i did get stuff ready for supper which will be super easy to make i did clean up my kitchen this morning after breakfast and wash and wash the dishes and put them away i think that's my capacity today the first couple of days of school for parents are right off i think you know do what you can do if i had frozen puppet pizzas in the freezer that's what i'd be making if i didn't have spaghetti stuff i might make craft dinner like it's that's the kind of days i just need to relax a bit and then I can kick it up a notch after that. I'm just getting back into the swing of things. My husband is home, but he's upstairs working. I hear him in a meeting or something. So it's just me and Boris and uh, whoever wants to pop in and see me, talk to me. Um, yeah, that's okay though. I'm enjoying my day. It's just, I feel like a bump on a log and I'm... I know I'm not a bump on a log, but some days I just feel like that, and that's okay. I just need to be open. I just need to accept myself how I am, you know, and it's okay. It's fine. It's all good. I had a shower, too, so some days I struggle with that. So when I have it, I want to, like, I had a shower today. I'm all good. I'm all good. Say bye to Papa. <laughs> You're not going to Papa's house. There. Well, Dad just came. Um, I didn't get a chance to video because you guys were charging. But he has his box of treats in there. Well, I gave him his box back. I just put the stuff on the table. And... Uh, my husband's gone to a funeral for a young person that passed away about a week and a half ago, which is tragic. But, anyways, I'm going to go get my water. And we're going to wait for the kids, well, Maze to get home anyways. Oh, and while I'm here, he brought out some mail. I got a big old box and uh, envelope, I think from Alabama, A-L. I'm not sure. And I showed him the stuff that um, your beautiful friend sent me because he didn't see it. I'll just show you what he got. A Papa haul. Some cookies. Some wafer cookies. Some York peppermint patties. Some watermelon slices, some bonbon booms, four pops, uh, some Swiss rolls, some chocolate loonies, some licorice, these little chocolate bars, butter toffees, cookie biscuits, and some homemade uh, double chocolate mini muffins. I'm tempted to eat all those mothers, but I'm not going to. Oh, and some chocolate sticks and a bag of chips. Ketchup, I think. Yeah, ketchup. Yeah, all right, now we'll go out and wait for the kids. Well, my goodness, you fellers. Maze came home on the bus. I was outside, but I was on the horn talking to my sister-in-law the whole time. So I didn't catch him coming off the bus, but he had a good day. He's already gone upstairs with his little plated papa treats. Um, I just have that pot... It's just water in it. I'm going to put noodles in it. I haven't even done the hamburger and stuff, but I'm filling out all the paperwork Maze brought home. But he didn't bring home yesterday. I think he brought home one thing, but all the rest. And he brought his thermoses home, which is awesome. It looks like it's all gone, so we must have ate it. Um, I'm just going to drop some spaghetti noodles in here and get that hamburger out. There. Very organized. It'll soften and I'll squish it all in there. All right, there's that bowl of hamburger. I had a small bowl load of it yesterday for that bunless burger that I ate with ketchup and mustard and relish. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in there, open some sauce and just warm it all up together. Cause, well, maybe I should put this in the microwave for a few minutes and then I'll do that. Oh, okay guys. Oh. Is that better? Uh, my husband got home. And he went to the grocery store, didn't get a bunch of stuff, but got a bag of potatoes. He said they were on for $2.49, I think, or $2.99. $2.49, I think. Grapes were on $2.99 a pound, which is still expensive, but it's better than it usually is. Um, so we'll have some grapes. Got two things of hamburger, medium ground, 905 
1063, 880 a kg. And he got this thing of wings, regular $14, 50% off. So, yeah, I've been mixing up this hamburger and sauce and spaghetti. They're still there, but I just think I have too many noodles, of course. Of course I do. I haven't been able to check back in a while. It's been one thing after another. Not bad things, but like I was here before the kids got home with my husband and then he left and dad came about five minutes after he left. And then once dad left, I got on the phone with my sister-in-law, um, talked to her for her good long yarn. And then the kids came home and then my husband got done a meeting. He came back uh, and we all were sitting around talking, talking, talking. How's the day and all that stuff going through this and that and this and that. Now my husband just left and the kids are all dispersed and it's 622. Boar's had a supper. Our, I've been expecting this Amazon package. I forget if I told you guys, May's had an ear condition and he still has it. He has a, I forget what it's called, but a buildup of earwax. Not earwax you can see, but it's blocking. So it sounds like he has plugged ears. So we can still hear, but it sounds like it's plugged, you know? Anyways, the doctor referred him to whoever fixes that. And he said, if you don't hear, you know, within a couple of months, call us back and we'll find out about it. Anyways, I called them back. I might've told you this, I forget. And they gave me the number of the people that do it. So I called them and they're, they told me it was like an 18 month wait to get this done. 18 months. And I said, well, <sighs> Can we be put on a cancellation list? Like, I'm a little over an hour away from you. I can be there if somebody calls. Uh, so my our name is on that, but I wasn't holding their breath because healthcare in Nova Scotia is the pits. It really is. 18 months. Thank God this isn't painful for him. Like, it's not an infection. It's not inflamed or anything. It's just a buildup of wax. So... Um, I was going to call Nova Scotia Hearing and Speech. I haven't called them yet because maybe they do it. But we ordered an ear cleaning thing from Amazon. And it came. There was lots out there. There was like expensive ones. There was cheap ones. I got a 20-something dollar one. I liked it because it came with a box. box so please do not accept if seal is broken well it's not broken so we're gonna open it up I've never done it before it's not anything invasive or anything I think it's just kind of an ear flush thing I'll probably do it tomorrow he's upstairs enjoying himself so there's the I don't know how to say the I don't know how to say it. It's probably some Chinese company or something. I'm not sure. I'll just break that seal. And I like it because it has like a box to keep it all in. Like that. All right. So, uh, this is what's in it. This is a little light. It looks like a pen. There's a light in here you put batteries in and a little magnifying glass so you could see. You could get ones that actually is a camera you can stick in your ear, but I didn't want to go too invasive. It might be something we do in the future if need be, but just a magnifying glass. Here's a little kit. It looks like a nail file, but it's not. There's little tools and instruments in there to use. It looks like I certainly wouldn't poke anything in there like that. I'd have to read the directions. I am not poking anything sharp in his ear. And here are, I'm assuming, the tips that you could change if you have to use this on other people. So it's like a little toolbox in here. I'll put the link in the Amazon, like on Amazon where I got it. But there is lots of different ones out there. Ones that do it like man. I got a squirt bottle one. You could get ones that do it automatically, like you push the button. So I'm gonna take this out. 
it's like a little cup and here is a towel a little towel and ear cleaning kit it does have the little barcode thing it probably has a video on how to do it so that's good I thought I'd open it with you guys just in case I'm sure some of you at some point in your life either had to do this yourself or had know somebody that has had this kind of condition like I don't it's not like dangerous but so uh, this is okay it comes with one of these these are like what you use for babies sometimes for their nostrils or whatever but stick it in there and after you flush it I'm assuming it sucks it out and that's probably what these little tips are for I'm assuming or maybe it goes on this maybe it goes on that thing I'm gonna look it up so I do it properly um, and then there's the little, you fill it up with a certain degree of water. Please use warm water when cleaning your ears to avoid dizziness and, uh, something else that can be caused by cold water. Once you have any discomfort, please stop using it immediately and ask the doctor for professional help. Combine, combined with earwax softener etc it will have a better cleaning effect earwax softener i don't got no earwax softener. we got mineral oil we had olive oil i also got mineral oil and we used hydrogen peroxide i don't know what else to do so that goes on there and then we just squirt 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 and hopefully it works i don't like it at all dirty and then just like the little cup that you put under the ear to catch the I hope it's nice and funky big and clumpy I don't know I like gross things that's our little thing he's upstairs I'm not gonna go call him down to do this now um, it's okay we have all weekend hopefully I can get this back into the back into this but if it works I like how I could add this to my first aid cabinet in the laundry room. I like that. Stick in there. This in there. That in there. There. Ah! Oh, ear cleaning kit to the rescue. Huh? I don't know what all those little tools are for. Again, I'm not sticking anything invasive. Like if I can see it hanging in this little cup of the ear, I'll get it, but I'm not sticking any hard metal objects. I am not a professional, I'm not doing that. But I will grab it if I can see it. And hopefully I can see the big old waxy clumps that come out. If it works, it's gonna work. Hopefully it works. If it does, I will probably film some of it. I won't get the gritty parts, but I just need the moral support from you guys that I'm doing it right because I've never done such a thing. But now, and if something like that arises in the future, if this works, I have the equipment to do it. So, yay us. All right. I just put that away in my laundry room. But my husband had part of this bottle. I got a little bit left. I'm going to get a wine glass and drink out of that. I will open that mail tomorrow with my tea I'm quite excited but I don't know if Boris is out there or if it's just me down here with the lonely spirits either way I'm never actually alone we are never actually alone but um, yeah it's not too bad oh Oh, there you are, my handsome boy. Got your belly full. The most handsome bubby in the whole wide wubby. Huh? Yeah, I'm lame, I know. I'm not joking, it is quite cold in the house. Um, and we have a rainfall warning for this weekend. 
starting tonight. I'm going to shut these blinds because I just want to make sure that our windows are all shut. We don't have any hurricane uh, warnings or anything. That's usually this time of year. Uh, so hopefully we don't get any of that. I don't want any more down trees, branches. Although the firewood's nice. I just, I don't, I don't. No thanks. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. Look at those bad boys there. You know what that is. Anyways, I'm just editing. I'm going to put an ending on this video. Um, the second day of school went really well. Um, the kids um, had good days and I was glad to use up all this Yeti stuff and all that stuff. Um, this was from a few days ago, however, when I did use that ear thing. I did film it. I haven't got to that video yet, but um, spoiler alert, it works pretty good. We got quite a bit of stuff. Anyways, I'm pleased about that purchase, and I didn't uh, break the bank. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, it was a reasonable price um, for a kit, so I would recommend that. But anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So... Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.